Hi everyone, my name is Jaisha, and in today's video, I'm going to show you my current routine for how I style my wash and goes. So if you want to see how I get these results, just keep on watching. So I start my routine with washing my hair in the shower. My hair is usually a little bit dry by the time wash day rolls around, so I like to make sure everything is fully wet before I begin the shampoo process. I also use this time to very gently separate any noticeable knots that may be in my hair, which are usually on my ends. And then I split my hair in half so that I can wash it in sections. Today I'm using Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Pure Castile Soap to shampoo my hair. I love this soap because I use it for everything. First, I apply the shampoo and massage it into my scalp with my fingers and then I grab a scalp brush and I use that all over my head. So not only does this provide a deeper cleanse, but it also stimulates your hair follicles which can help you with hair growth. And then I rinse my hair out. If you notice, I only cleansed my roots. I do not put shampoo on the length of my hair or on my ends. I don't know why I don't have a reason for this. I probably saw it on YouTube and it made sense, but I've been doing it for forever and it works for me. Next, I'm going to start my conditioning process. I like to do this in four sections since I detangle my hair while the conditioner is in it. It just makes things easier for me. And today, I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Treatment Mask to condition. And I just start by working it in one section at a time. I finger detangle my hair starting with the ends and working my way up to make sure that it's smooth and there's no tangles, no knots in there. And then I just twist it up and move on to the next section. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other three sections of my hair. I finger detangle to make sure that there are no tangles and once it's nice and smooth, twist it up and move on to the next section until I am done with my whole head. And this is about how much shed hair I have after finger detangling my whole head. Afterwards, I just use a plastic bag to cover my hair and I let the conditioner sit in my hair for at least one hour. And I'm back after deep conditioning for a little bit over an hour. I rinsed out the conditioner and I always dry my hair with a cotton t-shirt which eliminates some of the frizz that can be caused by towels. And I'm going to start with this leave-in conditioner. It is the Curls Poppin' Pineapple Collection Leave-In. With any style that I do, I always start with a leave-in conditioner as my base. So just like in the shower, I'm going to separate my hair into four sections. And I apply the leave-in conditioner to each section individually and then twist it up and move on to the next section. Within each section, I usually work in pieces of about this size and I start by detangling that piece before I add my gel. I'm going to be using the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel 
and I also keep a spray bottle handy with water in case I need to re-wet my hair. So I apply the gel to that piece and I smooth it in with my hands. Now I like to do the shingling method for my wash and goes. If you're not familiar with the shingling method, it's really just separating into small pieces like you see me doing here. I separate a small piece and then I run my fingers down that piece to smooth it out. This is the only method that I do because it gives me the most definition and that is always my goal with any style that I do pretty much. And it does take longer than say the praying hands or the raking method for example, but it's so worth it to me because I want the least amount of frizz possible and that's what I get when I do the shingling method. Also, for me, it makes the style last a little bit longer before I will have to redo or refresh my hair, so I don't mind putting in the time to do it. You can also use bigger pieces than what I'm using. It doesn't have to be this size, but I just use about this size because that works for me. Now we have made it to the special side. This is my troubled side. I think everyone with curly hair has that one section that just doesn't act like the rest and looks different. And for me, that's the left side of the front of my head. If you can't tell, these pieces are not as curly as the rest of my hair, so I have to give this side a little bit more TLC. As I separate this section, I do more of a finger curl to help it blend with the rest of my curls because this side has looser curls. Now, I know it's not any type of damage from heat or coloring or anything like that because I hardly ever use heat tools on my hair and I haven't colored it. Like in the past four years, I've straightened my hair twice. Even when I big chopped and cut off all my hair, this side had looser curls. So I guess it's just the way that it is, which is fine with me. And then this is when my boyfriend came home and decided to take over my video thinking Girl, that he was doing people. something. Girl, what up? So right now what I'm doing is, you know, I got the definition popping. I'm putting the gel through my hair. You want to finger, be tangled, and comb through. You want to make sure you get the gel everywhere, right? Don't be missing a spot. Don't be lazy trying to skip it. I know you're tired. You was washing your hair. You was deep conditioning. You almost there. You ready to get it over with. But, you know, you want your shit to be popping? You want your shit to be defined? Yeah. Out. Make sure you get everywhere. So I'm finishing up my last section and sometimes I'll go back and re-shingle a few pieces if they still look frizzy, but this is my hair when I'm done and it's still fully wet. I like to air dry as much as possible to reduce the amount of heat I use on my hair, but my hair takes literally forever to dry. So I air dry for as long as I can and then sit under a hooded dryer if I need to because my hair has to be fully dry before I go to sleep, especially my roots which are usually Usually the last to dry. If it's summertime, I'll go outside with my hair just like this. I don't care. So guys, these are the final results of my wash ago and I love it. 
leave me a comment and let me know what you think or if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.